everybody, my name is Valerie Greenwell and welcome to Quilt Artistry. Today I'm going to be talking about after quilting and maintenance. These are all the little things that we should be doing um, to help maintain our machines after we finish every quilt. Um, so let me show you a few of the things that I have here. Um, this is a little telescoping duster uh, that I probably picked up at the dollar store somewhere, but it's great for uh, getting down on the lower parts of the machine um, and dusting those uh, areas that are a little bit lower so that we don't want to get down on our hands and knees. Um, oiling our machines, of course, uh, and I have my oiler with the, the long spout. Um, and this is the Gamble oil. I really recommend this if you guys are using any other kind of oil. Um, it can really spot uh, quilts. Um, so if you, uh, if you happen to see some of those um, yellowing spots uh, on your quilts after you've oiled your machine, you're probably using the wrong oil. Uh, this stuff dries clear and is really unnoticeable on quilts. Um, so that's what I really recommend. Um, and then we should all probably have a couple of these. Uh, this is a little one inch. Um, uh, just a simple bristle, bristle brush that I picked up at Ace Hardware for about a buck a piece. Um, I usually have a couple of these. One I use to get inside the bobbin area to help clean out those areas that we can't get to. And I have another one over on my keyboard that I use to uh, dust my keyboard area to kind of help those keep those areas nice and clean. Um, and then this is Novus Clean and Polish. This is a uh, plastic clean and shine product. I really like this. Um, it's formulated to clean all kinds of plastics. Um, and all you do, you just give it a nice little shake um, and then you spritz it onto a microfiber cloth and then you wipe down um, whatever you need to wipe down. I use this on the table and I use this on the rails. Um, and these microfiber cloths um, are better, in my opinion, they're better than using, say, a regular washcloth because, number one, they leave no lint, um, and number two, everything sticks to them, which is what you want because you want to be able to get all of those loose threads and all of that dust off of your machine. So, um, let me get everything set up on the machine, uh, and then we'll come back and I'll start at my number one on the list and we'll work our way down and, uh, show you how I do all of my maintenance. Okay, everybody, I'm back at my machine and we're going to start. Uh, the number one thing that I do is go ahead and oil my machine. So we've got these oil points here. And it, it's recommended that you're doing two drops of oil in all the front ports. So I'll go ahead and do all of these. The reason why I do the oiling first is so that I can go back when I clean my machine, I'll wipe up any loose oil that might be there. This one in the back underneath your motor is seven drops. And then you've got one more here on the side that again is two drops. Now, I'm not gonna oil the popping case area just yet because I wanna clean that first. So I take out the popping, remove the popping from the case, and I'm gonna use my finger to kind of get in there and pull out any kind of lint that might be in there. Um, sometimes I know some people use a, a, a little tiny pin to get in there. You can do that if that's what you're used to. So far I've found my finger works very good. Um, so I will set that aside. And then I've got my little tiny bristle brush. I'm going to use this to dust out everything that might be down there. Look at that. we got all kinds of dust. You want to try to get up underneath this um, needle plate and dust everything really well. I like to rotate the bobbin just a little bit so that I can get to that shelf that's in here. And 
dust that because sometimes you'll get like a little wad of dust that'll sit right in there. Okay. And then I put it back where it's supposed to be. And okay, so now you can see I've got the little shelf there while I've got that out. I'm going to go ahead and drop a little dab of oil in here. Kind of give it a little bit of a rotate to kind of squish it around a little bit. Usually I have a little piece of batting that I put underneath here after I oil that just to keep it from um, dripping. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Okay, I got that little piece of batting. So here I have this little tiny piece of batting. I'm just going to put it underneath my hogging case for now. Um, that will help pick up any little tiny droplets of oil. Now, I'm going to push this back for a minute. The next thing I'm going to do is dust the whole head of my machine and clean this area. And here we can look and see, I've got all kinds of little loose threads all around these belts. I'm going to go ahead and use this little brush to kind of dust some of that out of the way. Uh, and I'm really letting all of this threads and whatnot go straight to the floor because in the last step, I cleaned my floors. So I use the brush to knock off any loose threads uh, and dust. See, I can look back here and I see a big old blob of dust. You want to get all of that out because if you don't, it can end up in your belts. Okay, so I have my microfiber cloth and I have my Novus. I'm going to give it a nice little shake. Put a little tiny spritz on my microfiber cloth. It just takes a little bit, not a lot. And I'm going to use this on my rails here. So I wipe down my rails, move my machine out of the way. And I'm going to do this for both sides. Then I'm going to take this cloth and I'm going to wipe off any dust and debris that might be on my machine. Things get really dusty because of all of the, the lint that comes off of the thread in the batting. It really just goes everywhere. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'm going to move my little pin catcher here. Oops, good thing that's magnetic. <laughs> and I'm going to dust all of this on the front. If you do this every time you finish a quilt, it's really going to help keep the dust down in your studio and around your workspace. It makes things easier to maintain as a whole. You want to make sure that you're getting all of the dust. Come over here. So that you can see the front here. Um, where does my brush go? Okay, you want to make sure that you're getting everything on this front side of the machine also because these areas are really prone um, to dust because you've got this thread coming through all of this. So I use the brush to kind of knock off anything loose that I might see, kind of get it in the take up lever just a little bit and kind of get all of that dusted out uh, and then wipe it all down again. I don't know about you guys, but if you have these uh, needle magnets, I like to keep them right here on top of my machine. That way they're always right where I need them, when I need them. Okay, so 
I didn't show this in my product list, but I also use the Expo Whiteboard Care. I use this to clean the wheels on the machine. And so I'm going to show you um, how I do that. Uh, I take a little tiny scrap of batting for me. I, I don't care what kind it is. Some people swear by the cotton. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to throw it away when I'm done anyway. Uh, so I just cut a little scrap of batting. I spray the Expo Cleaner on that. And then um, let me show you how I do these wheels. So with what I've sprayed on there, I'm going to put that right on the wheel. And I'm going to roll the machine backwards until and forward a couple of times so that I can watch it spin and it pulls all of that stuff off of the wheels. Now I'm going to do this for every single one of my wheels. You want to make sure that you're going all the way around on each wheel to make sure that you get all of the debris off. Um, anything that is left on your wheels can really cause little bobbles when you're uh, quilting uh, because your machine really needs a smooth track. Okay, now these, these wheels on the back of the machine sometimes are, are a little more awkward to get to. So you're just going to roll back and forth. Okay, can you come over here and zoom in on this? This is what I'm talking about, the debris on the wheels. You see that little black spot right there? That can cause your machine to bobble on a stitch. As tiny as that is, you want to make sure that you can get that off. See that? You don't want that on there. So I'm going to fold that under, give myself another little spritz. And we've got wheels on the inside here too, so we're going to do the same thing with that. Just put a little spray on there and then roll that wheel back and forth. See all that stuff that comes off? Okay, now let me come back over here. And I'm gonna do the opposite, the other wheels. This one on the inside, I think, is a little bit harder to get to because you can't see it to reach it. Okay. Now, can you come around this side? Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing with these wheels that I did with the ones on the other side. We're just going to roll it back and forth. And I'm looking for any of those little black spots of debris and I'll tell you, honestly, if you do this after every single quilt, you're really not going to see a lot of debris because you're giving it that regular maintenance that your machine needs. And on my encoder as well, I'm just going to give that a gentle wipe down. Okay. So now that's it for uh, the wheels. Okay, next I'm going to clean my rails. And this, again, is the plastic cleaner that I use. I recommend this. I don't know if anybody else has ever used this or not. Uh, Novus, N-O-V-U-S. Um, comes in a little spray pump bottle. You're going to spray a little bit on your microfiber cloth. Kind of rope it around a little bit. And then you're going to take this and you're going to wipe down that V groove in your wheels or in your uh, track. Just like that. I'm going to do that on the front side as well. And you're looking for debris on these rails. That's what you want to keep cleaned up. And like I said, if you do this after every quilt, you're not going to see a lot of debris, but that's why we do this. All right, now I'm just going to go all the way down. And again, on the back side here.
Okay, now, I do not have a cutting mat or a uh, acetate cover on my table. And these are all plastic, so I use this to also clean my table. Um, this one you can be uh, a little more generous with. So I'm going to spray a good little spot on this. I'm going to kind of rope it around. And I'm going to come down here and just start at one end and wipe down all of the dust. This is also a dust repellent. Uh, it is not a wax at all. It's just a cleaner and a dust repellent. Spray a little bit more when you need it. Okay, now, um, underneath my machine here, I want you guys to see this. My husband brought this home for me one day. This is an oil soak-up mat. Um, I'm sure he got it from the hardware store or something, maybe a, an auto shop. Uh, but it, it pulls apart into little sections. I leave two sections together and I lay that down. I have one on each end of my table so that I can park my machine overnight. Uh, and if there's going to be an oil drip, then that is going to catch it. Um, and they're inexpensive. So if you need to, um, you know, change it out or put another one, uh, you can do that. So, okay, now that I have uh, all of that um, done, I'm going to take my, uh, let me get a, a different microfiber cloth here. Okay, now I have a new microfiber cloth. This one is dry, there's nothing on it. And I'm gonna use this to wipe down my leaders. It's gonna grab hold of all of those loose threads. It's all gonna stick to that cloth. And again, there's nothing on this. I don't want anything getting on my leaders whatsoever. Okay. Now, I'm going to come around front and do the front leaders. Okay, so now I'm going to do my front leaders just like I did the other one. I'm just going to use this microfiber cloth and wipe everything off. You'll notice I have this leader unrolled. This is what I pinned my quilts to. So I want to get all that loose thread off of the part, off of the inside part first, and then I'll roll it a little bit and I'll do the rest. Okay, so now I'm going to roll it. Okay, and wipe down the rest of it. really important to keep your leaders clean um, because the last thing you want is thread from somebody else's quilt um, getting stuck on somebody else's quilt. Um, it just kind of makes a mess. Okay, now we'll do right across that top part. Okay. Now that one's done, I can roll it all the way down, it's finished. Now I'm gonna clean off the lower leader. I don't use this lower leader unless uh, I have an extra quilt that I need to load, then I'll use it. But most of the time, my lower leader doesn't see any action at all, but I like to keep it clean nonetheless. Okay, so now, That is everything for that. And now I'm going to take, this is the microfiber cloth that I used to clean the back of the table and the rails. There's a little bit of, um, of uh, the cleaner left on there. I'm not gonna spray any more on here, but I'm gonna use this to wipe down my bars. The 
the side of your bars where they connect uh, to your table, um, they have a tendency to get very dusty. That's where the lint flies off. Uh, so you wanna make sure you dust those really well. And I keep my, um, my gamble plants, my quilt plants, right on top of my uh, top bar. So I'll just go ahead and wipe those down while I'm wiping all of this. And now, um, let me get my other microfiber cloth again. Okay, so now I'm looking at the belts. And what I want to look for on these belts is to see if there's any thread stuck to them at all. And I usually do this with just my fingers. I will just go right across this belt, trying to get off anything that may have gotten stuck to it. This one is really important. Um, one of the things that I've noticed with the Ascend is that the belts stick up a little higher. So sometimes it has a tendency uh, when you're loading a quilt, things will drag across that. And you really want to make sure that you keep all of these threads out of your belt because if you don't they're going to get caught up in the end down here and they'll end up in your gears and that is not what you want um so now that i've got this belt wiped off i'm going to use this to dust there there's a little ledge here right here it's i don't know if any of you had a half inch or so so i'm going to use this to dust all of that off Now I'm going to move the machine out of the way so that I can get this area up here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move this machine so that I can look at the area of the belts that was inside uh, the gears. Just to double check and make sure that I don't have anything else. All of that looks good. Okay, so now I've got my telescoping duster and I'm gonna reach down on these uh, legs of my machine and I'm gonna give that a quick dust. I'm gonna go around all of my legs and I'm gonna do this all the way around the whole machine. You've got this bar that runs down here underneath your belts also. You can use it on that. Okay, then give it a nice quick little dust on this set of legs. About once a month, I'll come in with, uh, with my Expo cleaner and clean any dust that is still on there that I couldn't get off. Um, and when I'm finished with this, I put it right down here in this little hole that kind of holds it uh, in place and it's always there if I need it. Um, so next we're going to do the, we're going to dust the, we're going to dust the keyboard and wipe down the screen. I don't like to put anything on my screen so I'm using the damp rag, or not the damp rag, I'm using the dry rag to just wipe off my screen. And I have a separate one inch bristle brush that I use for dusting off my keyboard. Okay, now I will swing that back out of the way. And we'll wipe down the swing arm. All right, so that's pretty good for dusting. Um, now, since I'm already over here, I will go ahead and dust down my bobbin winder. It also gets just as dusty as your machine does. Um, and you want to keep it clean also. I know we've paid a lot of money for these machines. We really want to make sure that we can keep them well maintained. So now, uh, with all of that done, let's see, did I miss anything here? 
Okay, two more things. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and change out your needle so that you can have a clean needle, a fresh needle with every quilt. Um, so, and I've already changed my needle, so that one is ready to go. Um, and then the last thing, the last two things, you're gonna want, if you have batting rolls underneath your table, you're gonna to wanna to look at your rolls of batting and see if you have any loose threads on them. If so, just kind of pluck them off, let them go to the floor. They don't look too bad. I used to have a cover on my padding, but I thought it was really inconvenient, so I've just gone back to, to dusting them off. And so the last thing that I do is get out the broom and sweep up all of that stuff that went underneath the machine, especially while we were cleaning. Um, now, I don't care if I swept my floor five times a day, I would get dust up every single time I swept. Um, so, use your broom, go around, sweep everything up. This is gonna keep everything cleaned up so that when you get ready to load your next quilt you're not picking up dust and and threads that were laying on your floor from the previous quilt um now one other thing that i want to point out over here come on around over here um i can't say that i ever noticed this before with my other machine um but this bundler that is on my machine tables really holds dust. So what I'll do, um, what I found is this cable bundler here really collects every piece of dust and dirt and, and lint and thread that hits your floor. Um, so I'm gonna take my dusting rag and I'm gonna wipe right across this that's going to pull all of that off. I just let it hit the floor because I'm going to sweep it all up here in a minute anyway. And then I'm just going to lay this up here on my table for a minute. Usually I wrap it around the wheel or the handle and that'll keep it off the floor long enough for me to be able to um, sweep everything up. Now, With everything swept up and all of my maintenance done, I'm ready to park my machine for the night. Um, and that is my uh, everyday maintenance routine on my machine. Um, I hope you guys have found this helpful. And if you have any questions about anything, send me a message uh, or message in the comments and let me know what you thought. Thanks and have a great day.